orthotic insoles for rugby and rugby league. Hey guys, it's Kent here, I'm the podiatrist from Doc Pods and Ergonics, and there's a few things we look for for an off-the-shelf orthotic when we're fitting a rugby boot or rugby league boot with an orthotic in a sole. So the biggest problem we have fitting an orthotic in a sole into a rugby boot is the fit. So if you can buy a, a shoe or a boot that actually has a removable insole, it'll make it much, much easier to fit a, an orthotic in a sole in the boot. So the reasons why we might use an orthotic in a sole is um, if you're increasing your training or you're going training more in your boots for rugby league guys, um, and you're starting to get aches and pains in the feet. Now the things we often find in uh, rugby and rugby league is shin splints, heel pain, pain right under the, the ball of the foot here where you've got these little sesamoid bones um, because sometimes the stud pattern of the boots matches up and pushes directly on those sesamoids. So then as your boots get a little bit worn during the season or if they're second season, it's even worse, um, the stud can actually push right on that and it upsets the mechanics of this joint. So it's really important to cushion and support your feet so you don't get these aches and pains and you can play out the full season without any aches and pains. So the things we look for uh, in the podiatry clinic is one, can you fit the orthotic inner sole in the boot and is it comfortable? So it might even be best to get the orthotic inner soles next time you buy boots, go down to the shop and take the orthotic inner sole with you uh, and remove the liner and put it in and see if it feels comfortable. The other thing we look for is we want a really nice long high arch support, but we don't want to wedge the foot to the outside. So we look for a zero degrees wedged heel. Now the reason for that is because we do so much side stepping and cutting in, in rugby and rugby league, um, we don't want to roll the foot to the outside because you can imagine the situation where you've run around someone but you need to step inside and your foot then can roll too far to the outside if it's already wedged out. So we look for a zero degree wedged heel in a rugby boot. Um, so that supports down the inside. We have a little support down the outside or the lateral arch support. That helps to keep the foot running straight. So we don't want to roll it in. We don't want to roll it out. Uh, and we look for this deep heel cup to keep the foot's natural fatty pad beneath the heel. That just helps to add more cushioning by using your heel's fat pad underneath the heel as it's intended to do without adding any more bulk to the to the to the boot um, the other thing we look for this has got a really quite a thin cushioned heel um, the reason we do that is because there's limited space in a rugby boot so we want to keep the heel slipping and keep your heel down and secure in the boot as much as possible so we look for a really low heel the other things we look for is of course cushioning over the stud patterns so we want to cushion up those areas so the studs don't you don't actually feel the studs coming through the boot and this helps to do that the midsole of the boot also does the heavy lifting on that but this just helps to make it feel a little bit better so if you cushion up those areas you're less likely to feel the studs or the blades coming through the boots uh, and it also makes it more comfortable on your feet because this is where you get, you get sesamoid irritation uh, and you know you can irritate the, the the plantar heel if you're playing on hard fields and with really tall studs uh, we also look for a full length orthotic insole, of course, so we can replace the insole completely. It just holds it in place a little bit better. It's less likely to slip and slide around inside your boot. And you, ideally, you don't even want to notice that you're wearing an orthotic insole inside your rugby boots. Uh, it should be that comfortable and that secure in the boot. But we recommend orthotic insoles for treating foot pain, heel pain, shin splints, just generally aching feet, or if your feet are getting tired across the games of rugby and rugby league. Um, so if you're getting any aches and pains, have a look at the Ergonics Ultra Soft. This is the one we use in the podiatry clinic to support and cushion your feet so they'll work less during your games of footy uh, and you'll be more comfortable and you'll be more likely to play out the season because you'll be have more time on the field and less time off the field due to injury.